Hey guys, what's up? Well, I've been playing around with the Kyosho uh, since the test this morning that I did uh, outside with the uh, new toggle switch mod. And um, anyways, I decided to play around with the servo horn. And the stock servo horn, it doesn't matter what position you put it in, it just completely defeats itself altogether. So anyway, I was going through my box of parts, because i got tons of this stuff, and uh, come up with one of these servo horns. And uh, you just, you know, make the hole to what you need if you've got a fine thread hole or a coarse threaded screw will just self thread into it. But anyways, I threw one of those on. So I'll just give you a bit of a close up here, as best I can. Come on. Focus. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Anyway, so that's the hookup and setup. And um, on this end here, I turned it in a couple of turns and uh, just to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got out of this. And I, I think it's gonna work. We're gonna do a test two video hopefully tomorrow as long as it's not freezing. Well, what the hell, if it's freezing anyways, who cares? Froze my fingers off today. Anyway, so uh, here's what I got now. Dual rates are totally on to 100%. So that's our total plow height all together. Let me see if I can give you a better view of the thing there. Okay, so now when I put the blade down, it goes up a little tiny bit. So there's still pressure going down, but not near as much as there was. There was a lot of pressure going down on this. So now it's like hardly anything at all you know, in comparison. Now, my top main height isn't as tall as it used to be, you know. Um, so I think I got a tape measure around here someplace, and I can give you guys a... An, actually, I got my calipers here, so... Let's uh, do a height check, and just to see what kind of height we've got for clearance. So we've got 2.6 inches of ground clearance from the bottom edge to the ground when it's all the way up. So that's not too shabby. Not in near as high as it used to be. You know, it could go a little higher. Uh, but then, you know, you bring things up higher, you push things back down, you lift the front end up too high. You kind of got to find that nice balance, you know. Now, uh, the servo horn I had <coughs> is actually, well, it's borderline... You know, as far as diameter goes, and I thought, you know, what the hell? I mean, I, e even when this thing is, you know, got the pressure down, it's not going to push against the servo much. You know, there's a bit of flex in there as it is, and the bar is almost straight in, which isn't too, too shabby. Um, and it's not like I'm moving 500 pounds of snow. So I'm going to go without a servo horn for now, see how it works. Um, but with the amount of pressure that we've got going on on the front, it's, it's only a little bit. I mean, it's it's not really lifting it much. Like, uh, if you look at the tracks coming to the front, uh, you got one off the ground, two off the ground. The third one is just touching. And as soon as you drop the shovel, it's enough to bring it with some clearance. So you still got the majority of the front wheel and the track underneath it on the ground for traction as well as the entire rest of the base of the track up until uh, right about the back here. Uh, hopefully you can see that in the camera. I'm not sure. Let me shift it over here a bit. So from here to uh, about here, we're on the ground with the plow down. So that's really not a ton of pressure. I mean, you know, for flex-wise, that's not a lot. So you're not overly digging into stuff, right? You know, which is good. So I think this is probably going to work out good. We'll find out tomorrow for sure to see how it does. Um, but I think I like that. I think that's, uh, that's going to work. Because, like, before when I put the front end down, it would, like, come right up high at the front end. 
and uh, that's a lot of pressure down on that blade you know and then when you lift it up of course the blades way up here so now things are a lot better than they were so let's put the body back on just so we get a visual idea here of clearances I think profile-wise, that actually looks pretty decent. Let's uh, do a side view here. Uh, adjust the camera. There we go. So now watch the front end right here. Watch the front end there. So you've got right at the middle right to the back on the ground. So you've got plenty on the ground there. So this is also not stressing the servo out as much either. And uh, one thing I didn't know was that the servo is actually a plastic geared servo. So I may end up upgrading that over time. We'll see. Uh, I still do have uh, metal geared servos here that should work with this system fine. Um, I'll find out when it does come time, but if I bust it, I bust it. When I do, I can swap it out. But uh, that is definitely a huge improvement from what it used to be, because it used to slam right down. Like if you look at my other video, uh, when I did the mod on this switch thing and I tested it, it would slam down and lift the front end up and it would come up real violent you know, and it actually maxed the height so much um, that when you shut off the power, you couldn't push down on the, uh, the blade to lower it because it has so much throw on it. So now the power is off. Yeah, we, no, not as bad. So we have just a little bit of extra on it. Let's fire that back up. Okay, so turn it off. Yeah, much better. Yeah. So before, you couldn't do it as easy. Like, it would be really stiff because there was so much pullback at that. So I could actually bring that in a couple more turns if I wanted to. Uh, to bring the shovel up a little higher. Um, but I think I'm okay with that. I think we're going to try that out and see how it does. Uh, I'm definitely going to try it out on the uh, hill climbing again with the uh, mountains of snow out there and see what the clearance is like going up and down. And if it's still good, then hey, bonus. We're in the, uh, the races on that one. So um, anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. So like I said, these round little... Uh, servo horns seem to be the trick to use if you're going to do the uh, toggle switch remote mod. Um, this is the servo horn that you want. Um, you can buy these generically pretty much anywhere uh, in a hobby shop that carries them. Uh, you can get them online, you know, that sort of jazz. You guys should know that. Um, but uh, definitely, that's another good little improvement. I was kind of hoping to use one of my uh, alloy servo horns. Um, but, um, that's not going to fly, um, just because of the length issues and, but the only other way I could probably use one would be to, uh, you know, re-drill one and, uh, just lining these up right now. I mean, the stock servo horn is actually shorter than my aluminum one. So I'd have to, you know, basically drill it so close to the divider, you know, just to make use of it. It's like, forget it you know, type of thing. So, oh well, I don't get to have a metal servo horn, but uh, who cares, doesn't matter. Uh, I definitely got a much better working servo horn, that's for sure, you know, and uh, time, of course, will tell the durability of uh, this servo, so, but so far, I mean, the servo has been doing wonderful, so, but anyways, that's it, that's all, thanks for watching, catch you guys on the next one.